Hey YouTube, what we're looking at here is a aquarium that is sorely in need of a good trimming. This year started off great for my business, but kind of crazy. And at this point, I've been running myself ragged. So even though I was able to find time to uh, do my scheduled water changes, feedings, and dosings, I uh, did lack in the department of trimming. So. This is what you end up with when you get slack. Uh, the Ludwigia Rippins, the Dwarf Chainsword, and the Ludwigia Cuba all grow completely nuts and are laid over. Uh, the Pennywort and Red Root Floaters, which is on top of the Pennywort, is occupying about the first uh, half section of the tank. Uh, fish don't seem to mind it. As a matter of fact, the water's probably never ever been pure or cleaner. <laughs> but uh, it's kind of an eyesore. So, I got started on it, and this is what I got through with after a couple of hours of trimming and replanting and uh, resorting. Um, yes, I know the pennywort and the uh, red root floaters are still there. Didn't have a chance to get to those tonight. Gonna leave them in there for a little while. I uh, got a fish show coming up on uh, this Sunday, and I'm gonna snatch all that out of there and uh, take it up to the show and sell it. So um, we'll take a look and see what this thing looks like after the show. Um, we're also gonna take a quick look at uh, the 40 gallon breeder and the 20 gallon, which both our jungle style at this point too but uh, that's uh, this is kind of where we're, where it's at right now so we'll take a look at it here in just a sec okay so here we go after the full trimming uh, the show was great by the way for those of you who are interested um, it's our annual trade show cats and uh, had a great time, met a lot of great people. Um, just can't say enough about it. Uh, I wish we had more than one show a year. Unfortunately, it's only once a year. Uh, I guess I'll have to look more in the area for other trade shows and start hitting them up because, uh, you know, once, once you're in that atmosphere, it's, it's fantastic. Anyways, back to the tank. Um, as you can see, severe trimming, severe trimming. Almost all the penny warts gone, um, which, hey, look at that. There's a piece of wood with java moss growing on it. <laughs> um, Ludwigia Cuba and the Rippins has been trimmed back severely. Um, as a matter of fact, it's grown some since uh, that last shot that you saw. Um, I pulled, uh, oh, probably about a pound of the uh, Blixa Japonic out of there. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but that's really thinned out. And uh, the dwarf uh, chain grass is already starting to grow back in. Um, this is a Crip Parva, uh, two different variations. I've had it in the tank probably from the start, but uh, it's looking pretty good. So there's the overall tank. And uh, we'll see what happens over there. On to the 40 breeder. Uh, this was shot back a while ago before the show. Once again, I was going to take a lot of the trimmings out of this and take them up to the cat show and uh, sell them. But you can see how much of a jungle this thing became after, uh, oh, I'd say that's about a month. Uh, but all these tank is about a month overdue for trimmings. So it's uh, usually try to trim it like once every uh, week or so. 
and uh, that's what happens if you don't trim for a month. It's the uh, Hygrophilia aquatica, grown out loud, crazy. And uh, here we go, after the show, my two breeding, uh, my breeding pair of angels over there with a breeding slate. And uh, everything's trimmed back. The SP Rippins has been trimmed down, uh, except for that little section over there to the right in the corner. Um, all that uh, high grow has been trimmed back. And uh, oh, I probably took about uh, a pound of it up to uh, the show, too. Stuff grows like crazy once you give it the right conditions. Uh, there's some uh, high grow uh, sunset in the middle there trying to bring it and get it healthy again um, the Anubius leaves in the background you can see where the BBA has been uh, treated once that's one treating of the uh, hydrogen peroxide so that's what it looks like after you uh, a day or two after you hit it with the hydrogen peroxide for those of you who are wondering on to the 20 gallon uh, this is the 20 breeder um, or 20 long, however you want to put it, multiple different names. Um, I'm not sure what to do with this thing. It's just crazy. Um, it's got some long leaf high grow, uh, that, all that back there is, uh, Java Fern, one to love. Um, there's the high grow right there that's going crazy up out of the water. Um, not sure the exact... You can see the uh, Java Fern there. Not sure the exact uh, name of, <coughs> of the uh, high grow, but uh, it's one of the long leaf thing. And there's all kinds of stuff in behind it. Uh, uh, this was supposed to be after trimming, and believe it or not, I, I actually had pulled a bunch of the uh, Java Fern and uh, some of the high grow. And some of the other plants out of there, but uh, it didn't even scratch the surface, as you can see. There's Java moss growing in there. There's a Nubius growing up out of the water. The still one of those high grows growing up out. Yeah, if anybody knows that what exactly that is, uh, leave a message for me or uh, put it down in the comments. But uh, as you can see, even with all that uh, Java fern pulled out of there, it's still just just nuts so uh, yeah I'm gonna have to readdress this one I, I was not uh, successful in uh, oh, there's one of the epistos um, by the way I got a new breeding pair of epistos triple reds this time so let's see what happens with them they're just babies right now so we'll see what happens when they pair off and what we get out of that but uh, that's about all I got for you right now thanks for watching